Hi, Mario Blandini here with Drobo to give you a quick look at Drobo Dashboard 2.0. As I bring it up here, Drobo Dashboard has been enhanced to provide uh, a couple of new capabilities that are new to Drobo Dashboard. Specifically, it runs as a system tray application so that even when you have Drobo Dashboard closed, you can get things like your Drobo copy or your alerts continuing to happen. As it's coming up here, you'll see that it's going out to the network to find all of the Drobos that we have. And here at Drobo, we have quite a few of them. So it's pulling these up and in a single pane of glass allows me to see all of the Drobos that are in my environment. As I point out uh, some of the capabilities of sorting, we allow you to look at all the Drobos based on either their overall health, you can sort by name, or you can even sort by the product type that allows you to go find the Drobo that you're looking for the most. I just clicked on list and you can look at the information also in list form as well. And you'll see that we have certain Drobos that are logged in, certain ones that are not. I'll go back to health and point out that this is a great capability to see which of your Drobos need attention. Uh, this specific first one, as I click on that, it gives me the actual visual display of what the Drobo looks like to include the visual indicators of the LEDs. Uh, as you might know, most people will manage their Drobo exclusively through the lights on the front panel. Uh, green, yellow, and red based on different actions that you need to take. And as this one's showing us here that we have a drive light failure with a flashing red light. Something that's great to know if you need to take action on one of your Drobos. I'm going to go back to the, the icons here and go into uh, this particular Drobo. And what we'll see that it is a Drobo Elite product. It's got four hard drives in it and is about 60% full. And you can see that we give you a pie chart here with the overall uh, utilization. You can go to the usage as well and see how the specific uh, storage breaks down for you. And if I go to the status of the Drobo, we can actually see the hard drive sizes here as well as other information that's important to know about the Drobo. So we've seen how to look at the status of a Drobo in Drobo Dashboard 2.0. Let's look at some of the configuration settings that you can make. So we go over to capacity and tools here. Under the tools menu, there's a variety of things that you can do, such as blink the lights, which is very helpful if you have a rack full of Drobos and you want to find the particular one that uh, you're looking at in Drobo Dashboard 2.0. You can check for updates, which is always a best practice, and sh shut down or restart the system as well. Two of the things that people ask about often in Drobo Dashboard is how to configure email alerts as well as how to use Drobo Copy, which is a built-in utility inside Drobo Dashboard. We can look at both of those real quick. Inside 2.0, the uh, Drobo Dashboard preferences give you access to configuring the email settings. Just put in your email server information and you'll get email alerts just the same as the alerts come on the desktop here where Drobo Dashboard is running. And remember with 2.0, we now run as a system tray element so that you don't need to have Drobo Dashboard open in order to get those alerts. Drobo Copy is an interesting utility it's actually very helpful. It can take data from any location and put it to any location running here on the system where Drobo Dashboard is running. And these Drobo copy operations can also run in the background in version 2.0. Creating a Drobo copy is super simple. You can click the add button here, name it anything that you want, and select any source to any destination. In this case, I'm going to look under uh, this particular computer. I'm going to take the My Documents folder. And I'm going to uh, put that to any location that I want. I can select a Drobo file share that I might have in the location, a Drobo iSCSI disk that I have connected in the environment, basically from anywhere to anywhere, which uh, helps folks out if they're looking for a simple utility to move files. Drobo Dashboard 2.0 is pretty cool. To get your own copy, you can go to support.drobo.com. And from there, click on Software Updates. And you can get access to the Drobo Dashboard 2.0 software for PC or for Mac, and also look at the release notes there. My name is Mario Blandini at Drobo, and that was a quick look at Drobo Dashboard 2.0.